we're going to start off with Missouri heading to Boston College. Boston College, a one-and-a-half point underdog at home, total of 58. Odds, of course, every week brought to you by BetUS, where the game begins. There is a link in the description. You can sign up with that promo code, get a 125% deposit bonus. I'm telling you, a deal worth taking advantage of. Boston College, of course, no Phil Dracovich. Missouri, there have been holes with that defense. There has been some problems there. The Boston College defense, to me, I'm going to give you my pick on this. I'm taking Missouri, and I'm taking Missouri all day. My line on it was six. That Boston College defense is not good. They have played Temple's backup quarterback. They have played UMass's backup quarterback, and they have played whoever the quarterback is at Tollgate or Colgate. I, I don't trust Boston College. They've, they have seen nothing like they will see with Connor Basilak and those wide receivers. I trust Missouri to go in there and get this thing done. How do you feel about it? So, okay. We're having two different conversations here, but we're going the same road, okay? Okay. Is Do I think Missouri is a better football team than Boston College? Yes. Do I think Missouri should be favored in this game? Yes. I got Missouri winning this game. I'm picking Missouri in this thing. I am not besmirching the good name of what Boston College is doing right now. No, Jeff okay? Halfley is this great. Is one of the better Boston, this is one of the better Boston College football teams we've seen in a decade, man. <laughs> I think they're they are really good. good. They're just not as good as Missouri. That's those are two different things. That's no, I I I believe that Jeff Halfley has done an absolutely magnificent job. But remember, they are without their starting quarterback. And no, well, that's and that's the biggest thing. Them yes. losing their quarterback uh, against UMass was was an absolute game changer. Absolute game changer. Yes. Oh, I would have had them favored in this game if if it were not for Phil being out. So yeah, that changes no, the, the whole tough. thing. And so I do think that the, now I'll tell you this. I think that the number would have actually been closer to like 65 as far as the total goes had he been in there because I think he's worth that much. But well, uh, he's going to score. Yeah. There's no doubt he can find the end zone, baby. Yeah. Oh, especially against the Missouri defense. But I don't know that I trust Dennis uh, Grossell, I believe is this guy's name. So we're, we're both taking Missouri then, right? Yes. I like Missouri. I think, I did, hey, man, I think they can score, though. Dude, they, they've done an unbelievable job turning around the, you know, the, the the mentality of Boston College. Yeah, no, no, you're 100 percent right. The about issue that. is, is they'll they'll have no home field advantage. That's the downside. The Northeast just isn't going to show up for college football. I had to, so on Reddit uh, on the Reddit CFB page, I had several Boston College fans tell me that it is like Parents Weekend, and that there are going to be a ton like the game's almost sold out. So there will be okay. a bit of a home field advantage for them. All right, all right. I, I hope. Hang on now. I really hope so, man. That makes me happy. That makes me excited. My question is, is when I'm talking about selling the place out, I'm talking about getting rowdy. I ain't talking about your moms and your dads, okay? <laughs> That's I need, true. I need at least 25 to 30,000 18 to 25-year-olds making bad decisions that weekend, okay? That's what I need. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need 47-year-old pop up there, okay, get a couple of middle lights in it. And, and just getting a little woo-hoo every now and then, okay? That's just not how it rolls. Like, no, we need something way better than that. Way better than that. I need, uh -huh. I need, I need more. I need more <laughs> than parents weekend. Cause that, that, that parents can sell some tickets out. But but Mama and Papa ain't going crazy now. I need somebody taking their shirts off. No, you, you're right. You're right. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.